Good evening everyone, the doctor is in and thanks again to the Chosen Prime. We're going to be taking a look at uh, Fans Project Function X10 Browning 2. It's an updated version of G1 Headmaster's uh, Highbrow. This is obviously the helicopter mode. In the uh, instruction booklet there is a, a, a stand that appears to be a stand that holds the uh, helicopter up back here. You can see I'm using Arcana from, from uh, G1 Brainstorm. Um, if you remove that, um, it kind of sits, it doesn't sit straight. Uh, I don't know if that'll be coming with the general release. This is just the one that I have for review. So in the meantime, I'm, Arcana seems to work pretty well. So, But as far as the alt mode goes, um, it does look okay. I'm a little disappointed uh, with, with the look of it. Um, it does look, um, it, it is very choppy. Um, I mean, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't flow very well with all the panels. Um, I thought they could have done a little bit better job with that. The blades here will spin, um, and they do meet in the middle there, so occasionally if you're spinning both, they will uh, run into each other. guns for transformation. Open the canopy and remove the headmaster gourd. Transforming the wings and rotor blades into the arms involves a unique way to reveal the robot hands. A panel folds in to fill the space where the fist was in alt mode. When in alt mode, these wings are not tabbed into the body of the helicopter, which is not the end of the world, but it would have been nice to keep it more stable in alt mode. The rear of the helicopter is the left leg of the robot and the front contains the right robot leg, which reminded me of the transformation for Reveal the Shield Rekvar to some extent. The left hip portion must be rotated 180 degrees, independent of the rest of the leg for proper transformation. The front feet must then be untabbed to rotate them forward. I tried my best to show how it is untabbed in this video. However, it was difficult to get a good view. The calves and foot come together as shown and the five panels must be rotated in as well. Both hips can then be rotated down and the waist rotated 90 degrees as well as both thighs to face the legs forward. The torso then rotates down. The canopy flips around to reveal the slot for the headmaster and then fits nicely into the back of the robot mode. The headmaster transformation is simple and the head can be displayed with either the eyes or with the visor over them which is pretty neat. head can be rotated 360 degrees. The shoulders are on ratchets and rotate completely around and also have outward motion. There is a bicep swivel and an elbow on a hinge. The fist can be rotated 360 degrees but there is no hand or finger articulation. The waist can rotate all the way around. The hips are on nice smooth ratchets that rotate and move outwardly. There is a thigh swivel and a single knee joint on a hinge. The right and left feet are asymmetrical, therefore the left ankle is on a ball joint and the right has minimal ankle tilt, but does have forward and backward movement.
So for my final thoughts on Browning, um, the robot mode is on par with the other fans project uh, Headmasters uh, robots. Um, the great articulation, uh, great looking robot mode. Um, if I had to complain about it, um, I guess I would say the, the, the rotor blades under the forearms uh, might be a little bit uh, too much kibble, but that's very minor. Um, the headmaster is great. The little visor gimmick is is very cool. Um, as far as the uh, helicopter mode, um, I thought it could be better. Um, it, it just seems very broken up, um, not very uh, aerodynamic, um, and the arms slash wings uh, don't really peg into the side or lock into the side of the helicopter, so they move around a little bit. Um, would have been nice if that kind of locked in. Uh, and the rotor blades touch, which that's actually kind of minor. Um, but the transformation is cool. Uh, it's a little difficult to get back into the helicopter mode, but it's not awful. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks again to the Chosen Prime. This is Dr. Prime. Thanks for watching. The Doctor's out.